Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're preparing our long-term water storage. So for emergency water preparedness we use water bricks. We have 20 of them. Each of them holds three and a half gallons of water. The first time we filled up the water bricks we used bleach as the bacteria deterrent. And when you use bleach for water storage you're supposed to empty out the containers every six months, refill them, and re-add the bleach to keep it as fresh and clean as possible because bleach isn't designed to be a long-term water storage solution. Over time, bleach degrades and within a year it loses all of its effectiveness. Our home water source is well water, which while we filter it and run it through a water softener, it is not chlorinated. And while we've been supposed to swap out the water in our water storage containers every six months, we haven't been. So we went looking to see if there's a water preservative that we could use that would last longer than bleach. And there is. There are products that are made specifically for that. Through the Water Brick website, we discovered their Water Preserver Concentrate. Their Water Preserver Concentrate comes in these small bottles, and each bottle will treat 55 gallons of water. So we got two bottles to treat our 70 gallons of water. About the same time we were researching preservatives for long-term storage of water, Water Brick reached out to us and said they had seen our videos and if we ever needed or wanted any of their products to let them know they'd be happy to send us a sample as a thank you. We told them we had been looking at the preserver and we were also interested in getting some replacement seals for the top of our Water Bricks. And so they sent us two little bottles of Water Preserver and a pack of five replacement seals for the top of the water bricks. So those items have been provided to us by Water Brick. All the water bricks that we have, we purchased ourselves. So the steps in this process are, we're going to empty the water bricks, we're going to sanitize the water bricks, we are going to fill them with filtered water, and then we're going to put the preservative in them. The little water preserver concentrate is good for five years of storage. This is the little gasket or little seal inside the cap of the water brick. There was a slimy film that had grown on the inside surface of the cap of the water bricks. So I've scrubbed that off real good. And when we sanitize the water bricks, we are going to seal them with their caps and slosh the water all around inside to be sure that it does also sanitize the inside of the caps. I'm going to make a sanitizing solution right now to do one half of our water bricks. So the solution I'm gonna make up is going to be 10 cups of water to two and a half cups of bleach. And this is regular bleach that is 6% sodium hypochlorite. Now that the containers and their lids have been sanitized, we're going to flush them with clean water.
our source water supply. The benefit of this water preserver over bleach is that it will last five years. And the bleach, I only recommend using it for six months worth of storage. The water preserver is 5.25% sodium hypochlorite, plus it has pH balancers and a stabilizer in it that help it last that extra long time. The amount to use is eight drops per gallon. We have three and a half gallons in each water brick, so that's 28 drops. The little filter that we're using to filter our water is the Survivor Pro X electric filter. It'll run off a battery pack or it comes with a AC adapter that plugs into a USB cable and then the other end of the USB cable plugs into the back of the little filter. It filters out bacteria, viruses, and protozoa as well as heavy metal and microplastics which is one reason we got it because it filters out so many things. We'll put a link to our full review of this little filter down in the description below. And we thought this might work out to be a pretty good stress test on the little filter because we're going to filter about 80 gallons of water through it. So that's a pretty good indicator and we're doing it pretty rapidly, so non-stop. So we'll see how it does. As far as its flow rate, the guide that comes with it says it'll filter 17 ounces in a minute. And we're filtering three and a half gallons worth which would work up to about 26.35 minutes and that's about how long it took to fill up that first one it took somewhere between 26 and 27 minutes so it's right on with its spec for the filter rate let us know what you think in the comments below down in the video description we'll put information and links to information about long-term water storage and links to the products are in the description below too. And as always, thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.